Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we have an exciting quest and hopefully we're going to learn more about the new rangers and wild woods. So there's a quest that goes along with this and to be able to join the Yorvik rangers on this journey you must be a star rider and have reached at least level 16. You must also have reached the reputation level liked with the Yorvik rangers at Redwood Point and have completed the quest where you meet the Yorvik Ranger, so there's a few requirements. I'm really excited about this quest and I love learning more on Star Stable lore and things like that. So let's go over here and we'll start the quest. So here's Rowan, let's click on him. How's it going, Justine? We needed to get some more red wood for the campfire. Seems it's already burned out. Can you collect some on the outer edges of the station? So we're going to collect some firewood, and it looks like we have to uh, go a little bit out here, and it just it just shows the places on the map. I'm going to get the wood for that. Here's the first piece, and it looks like we have to collect five, so there's a lot of different locations you could go to on the map, so I'm glad we don't have to go to every one of them, because that seems like it would be a lot. Well, it's kind of tricky finding these locations, which I know sometimes it's a bit boring to collect things, but the pieces were rather small, and you know how difficult it is to go through wild woods. So that was a bit tricky, so you had to kind of think and look around a little bit more. So let's go back to Rowan and see what we have to do next. Welcome back. These, Those are some hefty logs, and they'll certainly do the job. Fallen wood always burns the best. I used to use a wood just like this when camping in Oz. Next thing is building up our reserves for keeping our fire going. Do you mind dropping those off by the campfire? I'll count them as you place them to, to be sure of how much we've got. Okay, so now we're going to put the wood by the campsite. Okay, so we did that, so now I'll go back to Rowan. Cheers for the help. You're a real team player. We're off to a fine start. Now, do you think you can go and grab some kindling so we can get this fire going? I know there's plenty of dried up wood by the ranger tower. Mind checking there? Might as well put that rickety thing to good use. So we're gonna go use and we're gonna go find some more more materials and we're gonna go over to the watchtower and Hopefully we can see something interesting happen pretty soon, and whoa, I did not mean to fall down there. Luckily I didn't take a dangerous fall, so let's go over here. So here is the watchtower. I think we have to go, oh wait, no, here's the sparkling thingy. And we have to dismount in order to do this, and then it looks like we're going to have to go up there, because I just saw some people running. What's this old compass doing here? Rowan might know. That's interesting. Let's click on it again, and we picked it up, and I guess we'll have to bring it back to him. So we have the old wood, but also the old compass. So there's a description on this compass, and it says, The brass of this compass is scratched and dull. It's definitely seen better days. However, it seems to work as perfectly as the day it was made. Engraved in tiny letters at, at the back of the compass reads, Edith Hartwood. That sounds interesting, so I think this is where the exciting bit is coming. Okay, let's go back to Rowan. Hey, how the- wait, what- what's you got so- what's got you so bothered? Don't tell me you've seen something strange in the woods again. What on earth would a fancy old compass be doing in a pile of wood? I'm gonna give this compass the once over. Could you get the campfire going in the meantime? Okay, so we're going to relight the burnt fire. Hopefully we get to learn more about this Edith woman. Um, her last name's Heartwood, so I think that's she would be in Wildwoods, because isn't Heartwood Staples a place here in Wildwoods? Okay, so we did that. Uh, hopefully we'll be talking by this fire. Did they update the fire? I feel like it looks even more bright than usual. 
Hmm, I could smell that sweet smell of roaring fire. Ro roaring? Roaring good fire from over ear. Nothing beats a good old campfire in the forest. Feels like where I'm meant to be. I think I have some idea of who this item belongs to. See those initials carved right there? That means something. Do you want to hear the story? I know just the person to tell it. Anitin. Hello, Rowan. You called for me? Crikey, that was fast. Justine found this fancy old compass in the woods, and I have a feeling who it belongs to. Look at the initials carved into the back of it. Into the back. E-O-H. Eden, can you... And Eden, can you tell us about Edith Octavia Hartwood? Of course, Edith Octavia Hartwood. Where to even begin? So much of her life is shrouded in mystery. In all the history books I've read, she's only been mentioned in passing, but I've always had a gut feeling she's much more than that. This fancy old compass piques my interest in her story again. Some say she was one of us. One of the first Yorvik rangers to ever venture into the wild woods. Some believe her to be an adventurer operating independently from the rangers. Others say she's just a myth, even. But here's, but there's one thing everyone agrees upon. Long ago, Edith Octavia Hartwood entered the wild woods, and she was never seen again. And just as quickly as he came, he's gone again. Crikey, he moves, he moves quick. That sounds scary. Somebody went into here and they're never seen again. It's crazy to think someone like like that could actually exist, right? Great job finding this thing. Many people have wondered who Edith Hartwood is, and now we're one step closer to knowing. A bit of a bit of a crazy story. It has the other rangers spooked. It's probably why none of them want to go into Hartwood Lookout or beyond our station. But you've got the nerves of steel. Do you think you could brave the tower and look for some more clues? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the tower. I'm sure we'll find something, so let's go over there. So we're back over here and I see an exclamation mark, so that must mean there's something here. Sorry, Luna Moon, I have to go up here alone. Watch my back, okay? So, okay, we are going up here, so let's go up here and see if we find anything interesting. Actually, it was down here all along. I was looking way up there. Well, I've come this far. Let's see what else is up there. So now we get to go to the top of it. I don't know how I missed that exclamation mark. Oh, I'm really interested to see if we're gonna find anything. I know there's a lot of like stuff up here, but yeah, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just click on everything. This map has some interesting markings. Okay, so I guess Oh, who's the- oh, I thought that was the NPC. Whoa, they have the full outfit. This map is pretty important, but that can't be all. I shall make sure to- I should make sure to check everywhere before going back to Rowan. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna look for more- for some more clues. It looks like we have to go out of this room and over here. What do we see? How did this end up out here? Could this have something to do with Edith Hartwood? I should get back to Rowan with this find. Okay, and over here. Something is rattling inside the spyglass. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to Rowan. We got a couple of things. So you've made it back in one piece. I didn't have any doubts about it. These clues will do. What's this? A telescope? And it seems to have something inside. Inside it. Interesting. While I do, while I look into somehow getting whatever is in, is in here out, do you mind checking out the, this location on the map? I've marked it on your personal map. Make sure to check it out before you set off. So we're going to search for more evidence, and it looks like Rowan marked a place on your map. Open it to check. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go up here where the lake is. We should investigate. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. What's this book doing here? So we already found something else, so let's go and pick it up. What's this old journal doing out in the forest? What the heck, somebody's trying to climb up there? I really want to know when we get to go to that part of Wild Woods. I mean, we're doing a quest right now, so I really hope soon. 
Welcome back, mate. Do you mind meeting me by the campfire while, while I gather some of the other rangers to come and listen? Seems like a great story to tell. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the campsite that we made earlier and hopefully hear more of the story. The rangers aren't here yet, but maybe it would be good to get settled in. Oh, I think I hear them now. Oh, it's dark. Okay, everyone, let's settle down now. Edith was a legendary ranger who spent years studying and protecting the Yorvik wilds. She spends a lot of time specifically learning about the different types of animals and plants all over Yorvik. At some point, people stopped hearing from Edith. It was as if she disappeared into thin air. As time went on, rumors started to brew. Theories like Sasquatch, Sasquatch took her and held her hostage. She was turned into a moth person and the most absurd, alien abduction. I read a fascinating book about that. It was called The Cryptids of Jorvik, Mythical Beings Lurking in the, in the Shadows. It said that Jorvik is home to many mysterious and unexplained beings. I'd be the first person to invest in such theories, but the thought of Sasquatch and aliens on Jorvik is too absurd even for me to believe. Alas, that is all we have of Edith Octavia Hartwood's mysterious story. Whether she spent the rest of her days wandering the wild woods, or headed back home and settled in for a peaceful life, you will never know. I suppose that's what keeps legend alive, not knowing what happened to her. Hold on, the story doesn't end there. Look what I found in the spyglass while fiddling around with this old thing. The final page of Edith's diary. Go on, Eden, you could do the honors of reading it. Huh? Would you look at that? Turns out she wasn't captured by aliens or turned into a creature at all. She just became one with the forest, almost like she found her true home and never wanted to leave it. Seems she just wanted to stop communication with other humans by her own choice. This journal on the final page Rowan found inside the telescope help, helps us to fully see the truth, true life of Edith Octavia Hartwood. While it's fun to think something mysterious happened to her, the truth is even more fascinating. We really couldn't have done it without Justine and Luna Moon. It really is true. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. Hey, that was crazy. Oh, my reputation is now admired. I wonder what the other rangers think about it too. Etanin, Yo Yusef, Astrid, Tira, come here. Hey, what's up? Hey, here you are again. How are you all so quick? No matter. So what do we? So what do you make of the entire story, eh? Seems there's definitely is something special about this forest. What do you think, Yusef? Still scared? Actually, no. At first, it felt eerie to be here, but after some some time, I can see how someone would willingly get lost here. And there are so many other things we still need to explore. Righto. That's the spirit, mates. Do all these rangers just have super speed or something? They s they scoot out of here quicker? A hungry cheetah. Anyway, that was such an interesting story. I wonder what else we'll find in these woods. So I guess that's it for the quest. That was interesting, and we know of a new character. I wonder if the new character is listed anywhere in here? Yeah, I don't think that character's in here yet. We would have to meet her and uh, who knows what happened to her. I mean, didn't, wasn't this a long time ago, so she's probably not around anymore, but that is it for that also. I got a jacket, so I got the Yorvik Ranger's jacket, and it has writing 8, so it has stats. This is what it looks like. Wow, great timing. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty fancy. It obviously doesn't go with what I'm wearing now, but I think this is Rowan's jacket. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get more of this, but, uh, like, more of his outfit, but that's it for that. So that's not all it for today's update. The next part is something about Sky from the Mistfall series, and it's- and now you can dress like Sky. Her clothes are for sale at the Ranger Hub just outside Fort Pinta, and maybe they'll inspire you to visit Mistfall and have adventures of your own. 
The items will be available until the Wednesday update on March 17th, so don't miss out. So there's Blaze, her horse, and Fort Pinta, I think. Or actually, maybe it's not available, but it's definitely on the app. Uh, and now there's clothes from her, so uh, yeah, I want to check them out. I don't think they're in the global store. It just mentioned, yeah, they're not in the global store. They're just um, in Fort Pinta, so I'll check that out now. So something I noticed when I took the trailer to Redwood Point is that there's now a trailer that goes to Isengate, which is in Dino Valley where the Coulters were living, and obviously they're not there, and some people noticed there was a balloon that was there, but now you can actually go there, and that's really interesting. Um, I wonder if anybody else noticed. I'm sure somebody had to. Let's go to Fort Penta. Um, hopefully we get quests again with the Calters. I feel like it's been years and like maybe a couple years since the old fjords disappeared from there. So this shop is right over here. By the way, this feature is still available where you're able to go to Mistfall if you're a non-star rider. So here's the shop. Um, so yeah, let's pretty much click on it and it has her clothes and guess what? They are not expensive at all. But they do not have good stats, okay. That's unfortunate. All of the clothes have writing one swiftness. So there's Sky's favorite hoodie, Sky's classic kicks, Sky's comfy capris, and Sky's riding gloves. I don't know if I'll be getting this outfit because it does seem like it's limited, but it doesn't have stats. It does look really nice and detailed though. I won't get it right away. It is still available until mid-March, so you definitely still have time. So yeah, that's it for that. So that's pretty much all I have to say for today's update. There's just the teaser for next week. So coming next week, it says Yolinda... I have no idea how to say this name, but this person is busy, busy setting up a working equitation race in Silverglade. No idea who this character is. They must be new. And working equitation race, I'm not sure exactly what discipline that is, um, or like, yeah, what it's supposed to help with, but a new race in Silverglade, we just keep getting new races. Um, I'm very interested about this, comment down below what you think about that. Comment also down below what you thought of today's update, I really liked the quest, it was a nice sized one. And uh, we got Sky's clothes, wish they had stats, I would definitely buy them if they had stats, but they don't unfortunately. I'm still hoping we can meet two characters in the game soon, Sky and Sam. If you don't know who they are, you'll know them if you watch um, the Mistfall series on Star Stable's YouTube. I've been watching that series, it is amazing. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and turn on notifications so you know every single time I make a new video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!